I get asked quite often about why I teach, why I do workshops, and why I do festivals, things like that. And I guess the real answer is that I learned through the kindness of strangers. And I believe that by sharing your knowledge and providing other individuals with what you've learned, we can advance the whole field of digital imaging. So with that, let's go into the studio and I'll show you what I do to optimize a file to create a world-class print. Before I go through the optimization of an image, I'd like to share my optimization philosophy. In a single sentence, heavy lifting in my raw processor, final polish in Photoshop. Your raw processor is an amazing tool. It automatically prevents you from optimizing in a destructive manner. It gets you close, but it doesn't have the tools for the precise polish that Photoshop can provide. That being said, I'll lay out my basic workflow. In digital imaging, it's crucial that you understand the adjustment sequence in both your raw processor as well as Photoshop. Now in the traditional darkroom, sequence is all important. It's not quite as crucial in digital imaging, but proper sequence influences how you view your image and influences your path to realizing your vision on paper. Your raw processor most likely has this built-in sequence. In Photoshop, however, it's absent, so it's important to follow the correct sequence. LHS, luminosity, hue, and saturation. Now these are the three components that make up an RGB image. Luminosity is the grayscale information, the foundation of your image. Hue is the family of colors that contribute to your image. And saturation is the intensity of the specific colors in your image. Adjustments of these three should be made in a specific sequence. Make your luminance adjustments first, followed by hue adjustments, followed by saturation adjustments, or perhaps luminosity followed by the combination of hue and saturation, which is the color blending mode. 